Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Cassette's Workshop. Today, we are going to take a look at this. This is the Panasonic VHSC Palm Corridor. It's a VHSC movie camera model NVS5. It was sold around 1992 and I found this at the dump. I don't have any batteries for this or any other accessories. It came with a few lenses that were uh, screwed before the actual um, lens right here, such as this Polaroid filter lens. I can also screw it onto my camcorder, as you can see. I also got this UV filter, UV light for outside recordings. All a little bit dirty. Anyway, um, and uh, I got this a few months ago, a long time ago actually. And uh, when I got this, I well, I wanted to use it to make my YouTube videos in a higher quality than with a cheap Apetech camcorder. But unfortunately, the whole thing does not work. The mechanism is broken. It does run, it does run for a while, but um, it seems to be, well, D had used it. Um, if you try to play the cassettes that were recorded on this unit, if you try to play them on another unit, um, you get no signal. And, uh, well, sooner or later it's going to eat up your tape. And, uh, well, that's because when I opened this up the first time, a little plastic piece fell out was broken off somewhere. I couldn't tell where it went and um, well so this does not work anymore. And um, a second thing um, that is not working is the power supply of the camcorder. For some reason it always tells you that the battery is empty. And really always. I hooked it up to a 5 ampere power supply the camera used only one ampere and still it told me the battery is empty. And for some reason it also um, also on the um, external power supply jack that stupid battery meter works and tells you battery is empty. And um, as I already told I don't have any batteries for this and so I think we can simply go and take this apart. But first, let's take a quick look onto the features. This camcorder was made in the time when everything that was digital was something very special. So you can see here very big 12 times digital zoom. Well, today we know digital zoom is just horrible, is bad, has a bad quality. It also has a digital image stabilizer and a digital autofocus and um, has a lot of functions as a title, digital effect, digital zoom, image stabilizer, fade, date time set, backlight, focus plus minus. Then this opens up and we get memory, color, T mode, whatever that means, shutter, white balance, on-screen display, slash memory, and reset. And here is the power switch, eject button, and battery compartment of course, battery eject, record, and right here we have uh, the zoom and snapshot record. 
the viewfinder can be pulled out like this. It doesn't have any display or something like that. The viewfinder still contains a little picture tube. Comes up like this and then you can see the buttons for the um, mechanism. You get uh, tracking, SPLP, tape, pause, stop, play, you know, the usual stuff. So if it would still work, it would be a really nice camcorder. But unfortunately, it does not work anymore. And so let's take it apart. And after taking out thousands of screws, here it is. This is the camera without its housing. Here are the other parts of the housing. They are made of some kind of metal stuff. It's a special stuff. It's very, very light. And um, microphone is here. This is, you know, viewfinder and some other stuff there. And right here is the door and the side part. And this is the camera itself. Well, I just had to hook the camera up to the power supply uh, because the battery was low. Now, the camera I'm recording with, this one, not this one. <laughs> now, well, let's continue. This is probably the most important part of a camera. This thing here records the picture. It's all sealed. It's all inside this block here. It, um, I think it also contains, you know, stuff for autofocus and zoom and all that stuff. It's probably that part here. Maybe a little motor that drives the lens up and down or whatever. And um, then we have a lot of electronics and, well, as you can see, it's hopeless to repair this because it's so small extremely small yes this is probably the part that is you know has problems power supply thing here and here we have the mechanism and this is using VHS-C cassettes, so um, yeah, contains a lot of plastic already, so <laughs> not a surprise that something's broken off there. And um, yeah, as you can see, I well, you can't see uh, where that plastic thing has broken off. This is the head drum here doesn't really want to turn. Hmm. Anyway, um, what I noticed, and I think that's pretty interesting, this little thing here contains a belt. Right there we have a tiny little belt running. There you can see it. Where does it go? Well, it seems that the belt um, drives the mechanism that pulls the tape out of the cassette and, well, puts it back in and all that stuff. And, um, yeah, so what can we do with this? I don't see any useful parts in here because, well, the parts this contains are simply too small to do something with them. So, well, hmm. think I'm going to simply throw this away. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I mean, it is interesting to look inside one of those things. So, well, see you again soon.